I make a confession? <laughs> Ever since I was little, I, I've always wanted a friend like you. Is it okay to say that? <laughs> I mean, that's not homophobic, is it? I mean, I don't think you're all the same or anything. The concept of Kick-Ass is really creating a real world you know, the kids were reacting to the comic, so therefore we had to make a movie that was reflective of what the comic was doing. There's the kind of Martin Scorsese-ness of a project like this, that real gritty vibe, like a Mean Streets or something, you know, and I wanted that vibe to make the character as real as possible. This is an awkward teenager attempting to become a superhero but failing miserably. Still an awkward teenager. It's brilliant. The principal kind of driving force behind it was everything has to be real. <laughs> It is sort of not exactly neo-realist, but it's, it's, it's as realist as it can be with snapshots back into real life. Matthew really had this vision of real high school kids, very much like kids wear sweatshirts and messy hair and they go to school and it's, you know, it, they're kids. Hey, look, I'm Todd's mom. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is your dad. No, that's still my mom, actually. Oh. There were a lot of influences in, in Kick-Ass. It's a nod in the direction of Superman, Spider-Man, and there are certain images in there which are sort of taken from those. I think the costumes are amazing, you know? The idea that, you know, Kick-Ass has is, is bought this off eBay. All that sort of stuff adds the sort of comedy, but then the sort of realism, you know, when you watch it. In essence, it is a bright green wetsuit. It's almost on the edge of being a bit Daft. Red Mist, I said, needed to be more cooler and sort of more like leather, like he'd bought a motorbike outfit and adapted it. Kick ass. Red Mist. Oh, shit! The colour was very important because they all have to stand alone as characters. So, you know, the, the, for me, I, I used the car as a reference. <laughs> felt that he'd spent money on the right outfit, so he should be out there, kind of rock starry. It's what a 17-year-old kid would want to look like as a superhero. That, like, crazy Asian rock star hair, <laughs> where it's, like, down in the front, up in the back. And that leather tight suit and the fake abs, which he obviously doesn't have, which I obviously don't have. <laughs> Damon's costume is weapon-related. Uh, his is very, very tactical. It has been taken from, from technology that is meant to um, work like an exoskeleton. Big Daddy's costume, which is kind of, in lots of ways, is a Hollywood superhero costume, is actually based on French riot gear. With Mindy, she was already in, I think it's the second issue of the comic book. She's kind of wearing something that you could describe as a, like a child's biking outfit. I have a purple costume, purple wig which is pretty awesome because it really does help you get into a character. Matthew one day just said, Mindy needs a pink belt. And I was like, okay, pink. And he went, yeah, pink patent. Oh my gosh, I want it. It's pink and it says HG on it. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. A little bit outside my jurisdiction. You're a fucking cop and he's breaking the law. That's so inside your jurisdiction, it's ball deep in your jurisdiction's ass. Matthew rang me up, he said, I've got this great idea. Frank wears orange. All his shirts are orange, his wife's handbag's orange, he's got an orange desk. So in a way he has his own slightly comic emblem, which is this colour. I felt like there needed to be something slightly more gauche about him. He'd have to impose himself a little bit. Time for family reunion. Well, he's obviously really powerful and really rich. He's can kind afford of to build an apartment on top of a skyscraper. That's his thing, and he's bought this picture book uh, Vista to look at in the morning and he has millions of pounds worth of art hanging on his walls and, and that is the product of his uh, of his criminal empire. I didn't want to go for that usual cliche sort of soprano style house. I said this is a guy that has made a lot of money and, and is now trying to look like the elite of New York. I was able to have some input into the kind of art and the way that his place would look and it was always very important that he wasn't a joke and had acquired taste along the way. This is a very unique process. We are a small British independent movie. When you watch it, it couldn't be more American, big budget feel. It's really turning the cliche on its head of what a British film is. <laughs>